Hi and uh, welcome to this new product video from Protopic. This is on the Electronic Crystal Radio Kit. We'll be doing an unboxing and I will also be assembling this as well. Alright, so let's open the box first of all. And get the, the contents out. Something's loose from has come there, so right. We'll just go through the, the contents just now, that screw has actually come from there. So you'll have an earpiece, green wire, white wire. Uh, green wire is your antenna, white wire is your ground, and earpiece is for listening to your radio there. You'll also have a set of instructions which we'll look at in a second. You'll have a coil. And a bag of components there and a base unit. Let's open the, the base unit, put that down. Now I'm going to assemble this kit so I'll just give a, a quick look at the instructions. So on there we have the radio kit. I'm not stating that if anything is missing just contact them on the email address there and they'll arrange to get the parts out to you. Here's a list of the parts that are in the box. Now um, the rest of the list here. It's worthwhile taking a read through these instructions before you even start so that it gives you an idea of what you have to do. Now I'll be putting this together in hopefully like five or ten minutes um, but it may take you longer. I've got experience in putting things together so the, the process tends to be a little bit easier for myself. So what I'll do is I'll pop them to the side and I'll lay out some components here. Now generally all you need to put these kits together is a small Phillips screwdriver and means of cutting the wires. Now on these you can use a set of wire cutters which I have there. Okay, we'll start that mounting this together just now. So, first of all, we'll get the three springs, mount them in the top, and you give them a, a firm push. If you just rest them in, they, they move very easily. You give them a nice firm push, the spring action actually goes in. And it's important to make sure that you've actually got some spring on the back there as well for the connections. Now on there you'll want to get your Vericap which is uh, mounted from the bottom in this type of orientation here. So when you turn that over you'll see there's two holes you line up using the screws, pop them in Screw that one in. Now don't do them up tight yet. Pop the second one in. If you did the first one tight and it was out of alignment, it would be very easy to, to line the second one up. So tighten them both up now. And that's them nip. Turn it over and you'll find you've got two leads here. So we have the lead that's on the outside goes to the centre connection here. And this other lead goes to this connection here. Hopefully you can see that. Next, we turn the, the unit over. We're going to install the knob. Now the way to do this is if you turn your very cut with your fingers all the way to the right and you will notice that there's a small cut out on the knob here and we're looking to line the knob as though it's been turned to the right with this end stop up here so we'll do that just now just pops on check and make sure it rotates that's fine no problems at all there right next we're going to install the diode 
Now you'll notice on the diode that there's a black line. This black line indicates where your cathode is. The cathode being the negative part of your diode. And on here, that goes between your diode connection and the antenna connection. If you bend your springs over and pop those in. And normally you would cut these wires that are sticking out down. As this is going to go back into stock, I'm not going to do that just now. Right, next, the coil. So take the coil out of its bag, and if you have a look for the two wires that are tucked in the ends with silver ring on them, bring those down. They are actually for connecting to the bottom of the board. And you'll see there's holes at the bottom here. So I'll pop the wires through. Drop them the coil down and then press it and it'll pop into the, the board and that retains it so it won't fall out. Then you get your coil and you make sure that you connect it to the first spring here. Yeah, I've actually just popped out that. So I'll pop that back in. And the second spring as well. And then, once that's done, we turn the unit over. If you get your earpiece, now you have two connections on your earpiece here, and they are going to go between the last spring and the first spring. So that's between your ground and the end of your diode. Now to get the radio working you do need a ground. Now this wire here, I'm not going to unwind it just now, but that would be connected to this tab and then that would be taken away and put around a, a pipe or into a, a spike in the ground or any grounding point, but don't use mains ground. It uh, a causes too much interference and B it's not a particularly safe way to do things as you will be connecting yourself to potentially uh, a source of power that can electrocute you. And then you have this antenna which again you plug into the antenna and then you would run that, take it out, hold it up as high as you possibly can or run it as straight as you can and then you tune using this dial here, you get sound on your earpiece. Now even with this sitting like this just now, I can get a very very faint sound, not music or speech, but I can get sound out of the earpiece that's taking electricity from the air, the signals and converting it to sound. Okay I hope you enjoyed this brief run through and description of the build. Thanks for watching.